Okay, hi and welcome back. Um, so in this episode, um, show you rough right now the finished uh, main part. Or actually, it's kind of two parts, as you can see. Um, I'm pulling this part away. Uh, that's the, the base part, and um, it's all finished. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, keep the sign at least for the first exported first version. As you can see, it has the, the slots for the nuts, and um, it has the, the easy um, thumb screws or, or just screws to, to tighten the um, the part to the two rods that you can see are meant to be in the holes. And um, yeah, simply on top you have um, two uh, screws to attach any attachment plate. So the the goal is to have this uh, like this plate here, um, to have different types of plates depending on what kind of camera you're using. Maybe you're just using a a, a light, for example, or maybe using a, uh, a, um, a pan and tilt head, or using GoPros or whatever. So so this will be an easy part to just change, and there'll probably be several kinds of. Uh, Different plates depending on what what camera camera you have and what accessories you already have. Uh, so this is just for a typical SLR uh, digital SLR camera. Um, quarter uh, three quarter um, holes in the middle, three of them to to uh, be able to move the camera, uh, adjust it a bit. So if you have a very small camera, you can still put it uh, up front. And um, I might be adding some extra attachments. Four uh, screws should be enough, but uh, yeah. I'm also working on the uh, follow focus gearing, so it will be a, a, a dual gear. So the first one is just to, to get the gearing in 90 degrees, another one is linked, so you have one gear, one smaller gear that fits to the larger gear, and then you change the larger gear depending on what lenses you have. Um, and there was also a a, a attachment here so you can use any kind of um, wheel for the follow focus if you have a roller um, skateboard um, wheel that you want to use or uh, you just want to have a lever or something um, that will be an easy part to just glue together since it's uh, rotating and it's quite difficult to, to mount gears um, uh, I have to have some sort of, sort of mounting uh, device so I'm actually sticking with glue for now, maybe you'll have some kind of linkage later. But yeah, so the, the, the main gear, which is not created yet, we only, only have the, the rough sketch, it will be clamped together here on the left side, so it will be able to adjust for maybe one centimeter uh, or more or less, or something like that. So if you have an 80 millimeter lens, um, not 80 millimeter as in uh, the opening, but 80 mil uh, or focal length, uh, 80 millimeter in diameter. Then you will be able to attach it for other types as well. So here I want to show uh, something that I'm working on for the next episode, which is a 3D scan camera. So I'm actually taking the camera I will use, a uh, Canon DS 550D, and uh, creating a digital reference just just to know where the pieces are, so you can have um, all the outputs and everything, and make sure that you have uh, clearance for the the wires and the mic connectors and everything. So this is, as you can see, it's quite rough um, scan. I'm using MakerBot Digitizer, so I will probably use uh, one of our more expensive scanners to, to get some better results. But that that's more of that in the next episode. And uh, I'm printing the part that I just show you in the computer. It's quite difficult to film this. Um, as you can see, it has quite unique pattern inside. And that's something that's uh, special for 3D printing, you, you can actually make hollow areas, and this is all computer generated, uh, nothing that I, I did. Uh, and that creates uh, air, but still, uh, so it's very light, but it's still very strong. And of course, the time lapse for the uh, print as well, it's always good to see. Okay, so here we have the finished piece. Um, yeah, you can see it has all the slots and everything. So the screws basically just drops in here with a little bit of force. Like so. 
and then you have the screw of course which will have the uh, the handle then to, to tighten it all but that's it and of course the second one like so it screws in easily so I hope you enjoy it and um, if nothing else um, I hope to get some feedback if you have any questions or you have any ideas please just let me know and um, of course if you like the video um, click on like if you disliked it click on thumbs down if you uh, want to see more in the next episode please subscribe okay thanks